Hello fellow traders, a and Futures here with another how-to video. In today's video, we're going to show you how to place a simple OCO bracket order using TradingView. Now, if you're not familiar with the term OCO, it means order cancels other. It's a very efficient way to preset a profit target and a stop loss before you enter a position so that once the position is filled, it will automatically apply the profit target and stop loss. So it just makes it a lot easier and faster to place those orders once your position is filled. But not only that, if either one of those orders are filled, let's say, for example, you get stopped out, the other remaining leg, which is the profit target, will automatically get canceled out, which is why it's called OCO. So let's go ahead and show you how to create this simple bracket OCO order within TradingView. There's multiple ways to do it. Let's first start off by demonstrating on the chart directly. So what we're going to do right now is we're looking at the micro S&P 500, and I'm just going to place a simple limit order above the current market price. I'm going to right-click on the chart. I'm going to click trade. I'm going to select sell limit at 52.97.75. Now you can see the order is visibly working on the actual chart itself. Now what you can do, the only thing that I want to mention here is on the chart trader, it's a little different because you place the order first and you don't necessarily preset it. You have to apply the bracket parameters after you enter the order. So right now the order is working as you can see at the chart on the chart, sell limit at 52.97.75. Now watch what happens when I hover my mouse cursor on the actual working order display. You will see to the left where it says TP and SL. TP means take profit and SL means stop loss. So now what I can do is I can hover my mouse cursor over the TP and I can drag to add it. So let's say, for example, if I want to place, let's just do something very simple. Let's just do, let's just drag it up and we'll place it at 53.31 even. So I'm holding down the left click right now. I'm going to release the left click. And now you can see the actual take profit has been placed. Now I want to place my protective stop as well. Now I'm going to go over to SL and I'm going to drag down and I'm going to, let's say, place the sell stop at 52.42 and a half. All right. So those are extreme examples. But the, the point I want to make is you place your order first. Once the order is placed, then you hover your mouse cursor over the working order display and you drag either up or down, depending on if you're placing a long position or a short position. But basically you select TP to place the take profit or you select SL, which is the stop loss and drag it to the appropriate stop level where you want to place that stop loss. And that's how you apply the bracket on the actual chart trader. Let me cancel out this order. Remember, this is an OCO order. So if I cancel out that parent order, the child orders will automatically get canceled out as demonstrated. Now, if you're doing it on the order ticket, you do have the ability to preset it on the order ticket. So in this case, let's go ahead and choose, let's say a sell transaction. We'll choose limit order as the order type. And let's just do, for example, a sell limit at 50, 5106 and a quarter. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and check off take profit and stop loss. This is going to give me the ability to actually place a take profit and stop loss before I actually place the order. Now there's multiple parameters on how you can set the take profit. You can set it based on actual ticks. So for example, if I wanted, let's say an eight tick take profit an eight tick stop loss, I can actually set eight and eight as the values. Or you can do specific precise price. You can do dollar value as far as how much you want to make or lose on the take profit and stop loss or percentage. I like to keep things simple. So I just typically use ticks just to keep it very simple. Once you have your parameters set, then you want to hit the sell button. And now you can see under the order section here, let's go to working. You can see now that we have a sell limit for one contract at 5106 and a quarter. So remember, if we have an eight tick profit target and eight tick stop loss, and we're going to go short from 5106 and a quarter, that means our buy stop is going to be at 5108 and a quarter and our buy limit is going to be at 5104 and a quarter. You can see there's our take profit at 5104 and a quarter and there's our stop loss at 5108 and a quarter. So if the parent order gets filled, our OCO bracket will be implemented and now we have a take profit and stop loss with an OCO strategy integration ready to go. And that's how you do it from the order ticket. Let's cancel out the order and now let's go to the dome. Now, the dome is a little different. You can't actually preset the bracket order, and you really can't do it after the fact on the dome directly. So what you really want to do is you got to place the order first. So let's just go and place a basic buy limit at 5103 even. And then you got to go into your orders window here in your trade panel, and then you'll see the working order display. And now you need to go here and click the modification button. And now you can actually apply the take profit and stop loss. So now remember, we're working a buy limit at 5103. We'll use the same parameters of eight and eight for the stop loss and take profit. I'll hit modify order. And now you can see there's a take profit at 5105 and there's a stop loss at 5101. And this is how you place an OCO bracket order with TradingView platform. 